Hey guys, it's Kelly coming to you with part two of five reasons why you should consider getting Caternix quail for your yard, your basement, your homestead, your farm, whatever, and wherever you have space. So if you haven't seen part number one, go back and watch part number one. Um, it's got a lot of good information in there and maybe some things you haven't considered. Um, if you are considering getting chicks this season. So, part number two. Reason number six why I think Caternix quail are awesome. Um, you can keep roosters in city limits. Now, if you do not have agricultural rights where you are and you're in the city, generally the rule is if you have chicken hens, you can have, you know, a limited number, but you cannot have roosters. And oftentimes for um, IFA and Cal Ranch and Tractor Supply and farm stores, um, they do get the roosters returned to them or they're unable to find homes. Sometimes they get abandoned, things like that. Um, with Caternix quail, you're allowed to keep roosters in the city limits. Um, and so that's very nice. Um, it is a much easier animal. This is reason number seven. It is a much easier animal to process for meat. So in the event you have extra roosters that you do not need, it is very easy to process them for meat, very quick, very humane, with minimal equipment and setup. And we have videos of that on our YouTube channel, Feather Connections Homestead. And if you are local and would like to participate in a free butchering and processing class, just hit me up, let me know um, through our Facebook page or our website, featheredconnections.com um, and we can set you up with that and you can have the experience of learning how to process birds before you get into it. Reason number eight, um, quail are generally as a whole healthier animals than chickens. They don't get a lot of the same diseases um, and so it's not as stressful because with chickens, I feel like still having chickens after a couple years, there's so much I don't know and so much um, diseases they can get that you just don't always know about, even when you do your research um, until you come across that. Um, and with quail, that generally, because a lot of times they're kept in cages off the ground, they don't get as much of that exposure. Um, and because of that, they really don't get salmonella. So that reason number nine means you can eat the meat of Caternix quail at medium. It does not need to be fully cooked because there's really not a risk of salmonella, which also means you can eat the eggs raw if you like, which makes really great eggnog. We like non-alcoholic pumpkin spice eggnog. Um, but you can also make cookie dough with them. Super yummy, especially if you're allergic to chicken eggs. You can usually have quail eggs, so cookie dough, way to go. Um, and reason number 10 is that Caternix quail can be kept however it works best for you. Um, because you can have three quail per square foot, that means you can have 30 quail in the space. You can have one chicken, which would need 10 square foot. Um, and you can keep them in cages. We keep them in cages similar to a rabbit cage and the eggs roll out the front. That way we don't have to go on an egg hunt every day for the eggs. We know exactly how old they are because we sell the eggs and we incubate the eggs. Um, and we don't have to worry about the eggs self incubating in the heat in the summer because I collect the eggs multiple times a day and I know how old they are. Um, but yeah, it's personal preference. If you don't want to keep your quail in a cage, if you want to keep them in an aviary, you totally can. You can keep them indoors, you can keep them outdoors, you can keep them in your garage, however you want. And that's what I love about quail is I tell my customers all the time, there's really no wrong way to keep your quail. As long as they are well taken care of, kept safe from predators and have food and water, whatever is gonna work best for you to help you be more self-sufficient is gonna be whatever's best for you and what's best for me might not be what's best for you and that's okay and that is totally fine and that's what I love about quail is there's not really a wrong way to do it and that's what's great about self-sufficiency is you're gonna do how you can be more self-sufficient and that's why I think these are so great to add to your homestead because whether you want like a ton of meat to process 
whether you want to do hatching at home programs like we do and go into schools and educate them on chicks hatching, whether you want the eggs because you have an egg allergy or other health concerns, there is just no shortage of reasons why these are literally amazing animals. Um, whether on a big scale or a large scale, um, I think they're just a great addition to any space if you have the space, especially if you are like us and you're in the city limits and you're very limited on uh, what you can and can't have. Um, I think Katerna Squail are amazing. And as a bonus, I wanted to add in the most common question I get asked literally on a daily basis. Um, on average, I get asked this question on a daily basis. Sometimes it's way more and that's totally fine. But I always get asked, can you keep Caternix quail with chickens? Because a lot of people have chickens already. They already have a coop set up. And my answer to that is always, you do what's best for you. However, I personally do not recommend that you keep Caternix quail and chickens together. Even small chickens are still gonna be bigger than Caternix quail. So there can be fighting because of the size difference. But also, um, even healthy chickens um, that totally look fine can carry disease that while they will not make the chicken sick can make a quail very sick and kill them and so we don't keep our chickens together with our quail we keep our quail in a shed and it's completely closed off from the chickens that free range they don't get anywhere near each other um, for that reason and that helps them you know both species stay healthy and not have issues um, so yeah that's the number one question I get asked, but the great thing is you don't need to build a whole nother coop if you want to keep quail. Um, you could just put them in a separate space or if you have a little cage, you can put them in the basement. Like they're so great. So this is part number two and I'm going to definitely make a part number three and talk about some of the most common questions that I get asked about quail and answer them for you to help you decide if Caternix quail is something that you would like to get into this spring um, or any time of year. If you are in Utah, local to Utah County, or don't mind traveling to Utah County, we sell Caternix quail chicks, um, day olds through adults. We sell meat, eggs, cages, whatever you need. Um, and we also do tours of our yard and show our setup and do free processing classes. So if you would benefit from birds or classes or anything I can help you with, reach out to me um, on my website, featheredconnections.com or our email, featheredconnections at gmail and um, would be more than happy to help you. And I hope this helped you guys and I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks for watching. Bye.